Weather rate certified, most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are seeing just a few high clouds out there this evening. Otherwise, skies are mostly clear. Pretty quiet conditions for the most part. We're looking at a live picture there in Temple. Again, this is our live Centex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker. It's on top of the Kyle Building in downtown Temple and looking pretty good at this hour. No problems in Temple. Temperature wise, 51 degrees. It is 49 in Waco, 47 degrees in Coin. Temperatures are about the same just to our west and down toward the Brazos Valley. College Station, Brian, both check in with 52 degrees. Now, our wind has been out of the south. Uh, that's kind of a warm wind, and that uh, may keep temperatures up just a little bit by tomorrow morning. But you can see that south, a slightly southeast wind around 9 miles per hour here in Waco, 12 in the Brownwood area, and, and not looking too bad. Again, down to the south of us, burn it. It's got a south wind around 2 miles an hour. But these temperatures are going to be... Big time swing, and we're talking about this roller coaster ride and a huge drop off coming our way. 75 degrees tomorrow, 71 on Wednesday, and look at the drop. Wow, that is a strong Arctic front that is going to be on the way. I put 40 degrees right there for the high, but that may be pushing it. We may be stuck in the 30s all day long on Thursday, 46 on Friday and slowly starting to warm up. So uh, make sure you know where the heavier coat is. You're going to need it starting Thursday because not much of a warm up is on the way here across the region. And as for our rain chances, well, we could see a few snowflakes mixed in with some maybe some sleet, maybe a little light rain on Thursday. But the uh, chance right now is about 20% chance. It's just a matter if if the cold air will be there when the moisture is there. The moisture might leave before the cold air gets there then we won't see anything. But if we do see anything, again, chances are very, very light right now across our area. And another chance would be on Monday of next week with a 30% chance of rain. But no rain out there right now. Our satellite loop, pretty quiet conditions. You can see some higher clouds back off to our west. And these are generally drifting off to the east and to the northeast. So again, clear to partly cloudy skies expected overnight. But I really expect to have no problems here by early tomorrow morning. Let's check it out. Future cast at midnight tonight. Temperatures in the 40s with clear skies. And by tomorrow morning, a lot of folks heading back to work. It's going to be a short work week. Well, that's good news, right? Well, short school week too, right kids? We are going to be starting in the 40s there. Maybe some high clouds, especially down toward the Brazos Valley. And then as we go throughout the morning, a lot of sunshine, temperatures climbing into the mid 60s. And by the afternoon, we may touch maybe low to mid 70s here across our area, but very quiet weather across the region and very late Tuesday into Wednesday. A little trough there may kind of kick up some winds there as we start the day, but out ahead of the trough, we are watching some uh, southerly winds kick in. So we'll start the day on Wednesday in the 50s. And as we go throughout the day on Wednesday, there is our front. Our front eventually will start to sweep through. There could be a little rain activity with it on Wednesday, but I think chances may be a little bit farther off to the east. And temperatures will start to cool down, especially just in time for Thursday. Tonight, though, mostly clear skies, south winds, and around 40 degrees, the low temperature. And then mostly sunny tomorrow. It's going to be a breezy day, but those breezes will help us climb to 75 degrees. So we are looking at a day above average tomorrow. Here's the long range 10 day forecast. There's 71 on Wednesday. There's the front. And look at that there. There's that uh, chance of a mix. Again, that's if the moisture and the cold air meet up. If they don't uh, meet up, we're not going to see it. But our chances are only 20%. But look at the low temperatures there. Lower 20. So very, very cold conditions Thursday night, Friday night, and a slow warm. And that's because that cold air, that cold air is very dense. It's very heavy, and it doesn't heat up in a hurry. That's why you don't see any big warm-ups right away when we get cold like that. 56 on Sunday. There's that chance of rain there on Monday, 64. And then on down toward Bryan and College Station, 70s over the next couple of days. And then we're looking at the front move through down to 47 degrees and then slowly warming into the upper 40s and lower 50s by the weekend. It